Cha waniki saknatasu is Jonathan James Perry New Thomas Akunahanat. Hello, I come from the Aquina community of the Wampanoag Nation located on Naupe, an island now referred to as Martha's Vineyard. Moshup, a great being, taller than the tallest trees and a leader of our people, gathered our people together and traveled with them and guided us to what we call home today. It is said that the journey was so far that Moshup became tired and dragged his toe, and where he dragged his toe, water rushed in and separated the islands from the mainland. Anchors like this Killock connect our people and connected our recent ancestors to the paths of our ancestors, the great ancestors, the ones that traveled along what is now the sea floor. Anchors are important because they connect you to a space, not just holding you in place for subsistence gathering, but also they connect you to the sea floor and they connect you to all the beings of that surrounding area. Anchors are very important in our culture because we are seafaring people. We traveled to and from the islands and up and down the coast and we fished and we whaled from Mashun or dugout canoes that we produced that could be up to 60 feet in length and hold 40 men or be very small and used in small rivers, maybe just eight feet long. Water is an important space because of the fact that it is teeming with life and that life helps to sustain us, but it is also not a place for us permanently because we are not fish, we cannot breathe underwater, we cannot exist in that space. So we respect it because it is almost like a whole other world. It provides us with a great deal of nutrients and ability to feed our families, but it also holds a lot of value in how the creation worked and how it made that space. Anchors are important to us because they connect us to the paths, to the walking spaces of our ancestors. They connect us through that world to another world, to an ancient world, but also one that is very much a part of us today. It touches a territory. Anchor drops, much like the footsteps of our ancestors as they walk to our home, last forever. They resonate through time. And I am very appreciative that I can look at this anchor that was carefully made with stone and iron and other materials and that it has lasted and I am able to anchor myself by looking at it, touching it, seeing it, and understanding its connection to my ancestry. Kutabatash.